Hey guys, it's Sarah Lee here with another video for you guys, and this video is going to be about my Bantu knot out, or in, going to be out. You guys get the picture. It's a long work week, long day, and you get home, your hair is all frizzed out because it's raining, and you just want to crawl into bed and just go to sleep without twisting your hair. Don't do that. I'm gonna show you quick bantu knots that you could simply put in, put in your hair and it'll take you 10 minutes nice and easy and it'll look great so without further ado let's get started this method is if you just want to do it quick and effortless and have it really defined what i'm gonna use for this bantu knot is uh the lock method if you're not familiar it's liquid oil cream so for my liquid, I'm going to use H2O, H2O, obviously, and I'm just going to spritz that all over my hair. And for uh, this time, I added some tea tree oil in it. Um, you don't have to, but I want it to, so I'm just going to spritz it really quickly. For my oil, I'm going to use coconut oil. Um, just use whatever oil you feel like your hair needs the most right now. I feel like my hair needs some moisturizing and some smoothness. So I'm gonna use some coconut oil into my scalp first. And then I'm just gonna smooth all of that in there. And then I'm gonna use Cantu Shea Butter Oil Moisturizer and use as much as you think you need. I'm just gonna dab it in my hair. So now that I added some liquid, oil, and moisturizer, I'm going to just section off my hair. I'm just gonna section it off one by one with some like medium size. I do this size like this. Now there's two methods of doing uh, Bantu knots. You, one method is to twist it this way and do it up in a bowl like this. I like to separate and do a two strand twist like that and then put it in a ball. I feel like for me that gives me more definition. Try not to do one of these and separate it into multis and just get, get it mixed up. Try to stay on the path just like that. And once you get it like this, you're just gonna go rotate and put it in the ball. Now, now I get a lot of questions about <clears throat> how do you leave your bantu knot in a ball and it doesn't like roll up. I feel like it's practice for your hair. Um, so that means you have to continue to do it so your hair can learn um, different patterns. And again, you could always like stick it in the bottom. I'll show you. Just like this. So I'm going like under it. Every layer goes under. That. And then it just wraps around and it stays. And also, if you feel like you need to detangle your hair, do it with a wide comb. I just didn't show that I did it, um, because I did it, but I feel like I don't need to detangle my hair today. We all know detangling takes man time. Not gonna happen. Not today. 